Hallelujah, precious saints. Well, this very night, we're going to pray some powerful prayers to shake the heavens and the earth. Hallelujah. Because according to scripture, it tells me in Hebrews chapter 12, it says in verse 26, it says, Yet once more, I will shake not only the earth, but also the heavens. Hallelujah. Our prayers can have an influence on even the physical environment to us. Hallelujah. As it was with the early disciples, according to Acts 4 verse 31, it says, And when they had prayed, the place was shaken where they were assembled together, and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and spoke the word of God with boldness. Hallelujah. And according to the word of God, it says in Acts 16, verse 25 to 26, and it says, And at the midnight hour, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praise unto God, and the prisoners heard them, and suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundation of the prison was shaken, and immediately all the doors were open, and everyone's band was loosened around those that were in the prison. Hallelujah. And the Bible also says, according to James 5 verse 16, it says that the actual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. It says Elijah was a man subject to like passions as we are, and he prayed earnestly that it would not rain, and it rained not on the earth by the space of three years and six months. And he prayed again, and the heavens gave rain, and the earth brought forth her fruit. Hallelujah. He was a man, an ordinary man, but through prayer, we can do extraordinary things accomplished by our prayers. Now, Elijah was a man with like passions, but he believed in God. See, the earnest or the fervent, heartfelt, continued prayer of a righteous man makes tremendous power available, dynamic in its working for each believer who prays. So people have prayed and places have shaken. Hallelujah. As we've seen in Acts 4 verse 31 and Acts 16 verse 26. And according to an historical story that we see in 1225 in the country of Iraq, we see from the unbridged writings of Marco Polo, the story of this province of Persia, Iraq, in the 13th century. Now, approximately there were a hundred thousand Christians that lived and worked in this area and many of them were wealthy but a Saracen and a Saracen was one of the Crusader Muslims who took power over that place who came in power and sought continually to convert them to Islam and dispossess them or to kill the Christians. So he found the passage in the Bible where Jesus said that if you have faith like a mustard seed, you can move a mountain. So he told these Christians, if you are so, if you are real Christians, then I want you to pray to move that mountain or be considered to be killed in 10 days time. So while they were there wondering what they should do, they all just started to fast. And as they started to fast and pray, there was a particular uh, uh, sort of a particular guy there who was a cobbler, who was a blacksmith. And he would or actually he was a, he was a shoemaker. And by the grace of God, they came to him and he was a one eyed man. He had a one eye because according to the scripture, he took it He took it literal according to Mark 9 verse 47, where he said, if your eye offends you, then it's better to pluck it out to enter the kingdom of God than to go to hell with two. So for some reason, they said that this man had one eye because he literally did that, but they came to him to pray. So when that day came and that uh, Muslim came, the leader that took over to Cain, he, he came, but they came forth carrying a cross before them as they went to enter them. And that particular man prayed. And when he prayed, the, you know, the, the account of the story says that as they prayed in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit and commanded the mountain to move, there was a great earthquake and the mountain moved. And it's even said to say that the leader 
became a secret Christian after that point because when he had died, he wore a cross underneath his his garments. So they had to bury him separately with the Christians apart from the Muslims. So when we have power in our prayer, we can even move mountains. Hallelujah. We can move mountains. We can change our environment to move mountains to bring about God's perfect will within our lives. And Jesus said, I have given you that authority. He says in Mark, he says in Matthew, he says, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can move a mountain. Our prayers have power to transform places, to even shake the very foundation. So you might find yourself in adverse situations and circumstances. However, when you pray, things are shaken and things change whether that be personal whether it be an unsaved loved one you want to come to the lord whether it be a financial situation whether it be coming out of debt whether it be stress within your life whatever that situation is maybe you need to be set free from drugs or alcohol or any addiction or lust or greed or power of sin broken sickness and disease or relationship issues or you need guidance or you're needing wisdom or you're even praying for the nation or you're praying for your nation, you're praying for souls, you're praying for the churches, you're praying for your government, you're praying for your village, your town, your cities, your country, states, countries, whatever it is, whether there be even a financial realm that we can pray that can transfer a wealth transfer. That's right. Our prayers being about an open heaven. Hallelujah. And it is time to see the shaking for our fervent prayers. Now, the prophet Haggai said, according to chapter 2, verse 6, it says, For thus saith the Lord of hosts, yet once it is a little while, and I will shake the heavens and the earth and the sea and the dry land, and I will shake all nations, and the desire of all nations shall come. And I will fill this house with glory, saith the Lord of hosts. Thy silver is mine, and the gold is mine, saith the Lord of hosts. The glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former, saith the Lord of hosts. And in this day I will give peace, saith the Lord. Hallelujah. So we're going to shake the heavens right now. We're going to go into the second heaven right now. And we're going to pray in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. But first, we're going to put on that full armor of God. So Lord, I thank you for Ephesians 6. Lord, from verse 13, Lord, we know that we're putting on the full armor of God. We're going to put on the breastplate of righteousness, the shoes of gospel of peace, the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation, the sword of the spirit, and the word of God. Lord, we thank you, Lord Jesus. We put on the full armor of God. Heavenly Father, we ask you in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ to fill us with your Holy Spirit with the help of the Holy Spirit we put on the whole armor of God so that we may be able to stand against the wives of the devil we ask you to make us strong in the power of your might and we put on the belt of truth the breastplate of righteousness Lord that our feet are shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace Lord we take the shield of faith and we make Lord and hold it to be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. We take the helmet of salvation, the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. And we pray always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watchful with all perseverance and supplication with all the saints. And we thank you for the armor that you have given us. And we bind the spirits of fear, doubt and unbelief. And we thank you that you have given us your word, your name and your blood as a weapon of our warfare. It is written in Luke 10 verse 19. Behold, I give unto you power to tread upon serpents, scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. We receive the power and authority that you've given unto us as your children. And we praise you for it. And we thank you for your mighty warring army angels, Lord, that protect, defend, minister and to war on our behalf. And we ask you to give us utterance that we may open our mouth 
boldly. Lord, as we give you thanks and praise, Lord, we thank you, Lord Jesus, that we cover ourselves, our family, our beloved ones, Lord, our armor, our possessions, and everything in the world that concerns us with the blood of Jesus. And we give you glory and honor and thanks and everlasting to everlasting. And we thank you, Holy Spirit, that leads, guides, and protects us and speaks and protects and comforts us. For it is written in 2 Timothy 1, 7, it says, For I've not given you a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power, love, and of a sound mind. Lord, we thank you, Lord Jesus, Lord, that as you've covered us and protected us, that through the blood of Jesus, we may overcome. And we thank you, Lord Jesus, as we are now going into the heavenlies to warfare. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Heavenly Father, we come to you in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus, and we ask you to bind the strong man, shut the lion's mouth, and loosen your mighty warring angels, Lord, to protect, to defend, to minister, to deliver, and war on our behalf. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus, we loose the fire of God to burn up all the evil and wickedness. We plead the blood of Jesus over us and our house and our family and our possessions. Lord, for our territory or our neighborhood, our country, our city, our state, and our nations in the name of Jesus Christ. And we put on the full armor of God and we stand on your word and we take the power that has been given to us to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt us and we take the authority given to us by your name your word and we declare that we have all power of the Holy Ghost to war on our behalf right now we cancel and we destroy every plot plan scheme and strategy of the enemy and every assignment of hell being sent our way in Jesus mighty name we bind every principality power rule of darkness in high places and every demon from hell coming against us and our house our family our territory our neighborhood our country our city our state right now in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ we pull down those strongholds today Heavenly Father we come to you in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus and we ask you to break and destroy every binding and we bind in every stronghold in our life and in our lives of our loved ones in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ we confess all of our sins and we ask you to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. We ask you to bind the strong man and shut the mouths of every lion. We plead the blood of Jesus over our spirit, soul, mind, body, thoughts, our intellect, our will, our emotions, our feelings, and every fiber of our being in the name of Jesus Christ. We cancel and destroy every plot, plan, and scheme and strategy of the enemy with every assignment of hell coming against us or our loved ones. We declare and decree that sin since we are loved and beloved by you, we are covered by the blood of Jesus. Satan has no power or legal authority over our lives or the lives of our loved ones. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ over our life, over our health, our family, our home, our possessions, our finances, over everything in the world that concerns us. And you, Lord, we thank you. And we ask you to loose your mighty warring angels around us to defend us, to minister, to deliver on our behalf and war on our behalf today. We thank you, Lord Jesus, as we come stronger into the heavenlies right now to come and pull down the strongholds, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. We come to you in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And we ask you today, as we take authority over every power of darkness that is coming against us in the name of Jesus Christ. We come against you today that you will no longer come against us for it is written in 2 Corinthians 10, 4, 6 for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but they are mighty in God for pulling down strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalt of itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought of obedience of Christ and having in readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. Hallelujah. And according to Luke 10, 19, behold, I give you the power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy shall by no means hurt you. Heavenly Father, in Jesus' mighty name, we thank you for the authority that you have given us and the power of your name and your word and your blood. We thank you for your Holy Spirit and we take the authority that you have given to us in your name Name, your word, your blood, and the power of the Holy Spirit. And we use it now to bind and destroy every 
plot, every plan, every scheme, every strategy of the enemy and every assignment from hell coming against us, our house and our family. And we receive power, Lord, to be given to tread upon serpents, scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and declare and decree that nothing by any means shall hurt us or our loved ones. And no plague shall come nigh thy dwelling in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We declare, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we decree your lordship over this day. We get under your covering and anointing of the early riser today in the name of Jesus. We command the morning. We command the morning to take hold of the ends of the earth and shake the wicked out of it. According to Job 38 verse 12. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that we will have dominion over the devil in the morning. According to Psalm 49 verse 14. Lord, make the outgoings of the morning to rejoice. According to Psalm 65 verse 8. We receive your loving kindness every morning according to Psalm 143 verse 8. And release the beauty of your holiness from the womb of the morning, according to Psalm 110, verse 3. Let the light break forth in our life as in the morning, according to Psalm 58, verse 8. Let your judgments come upon us and the enemy in the morning by morning, according to Isaiah 4, 28, verse 19. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you are going forth is to prepare as in the morning right now. And we pray that you will come as the rain and the latter and the former rain shall come upon you according to Hosea 6 verse 3 and we thank you Lord that you will visit us every morning according to Job 7 verse 18 Lord you awaken our morning by morning you awaken our ears to hear and to learn according to Isaiah 50 verse 4 and Lord we thank you that we will not be afraid of the arrow that flies by day nor of the arrow that flies by night according to Psalm 91 verse 5 and Lord, we thank you that you'll show forth your salvation in our life from day to day, according to Psalm 96 verse 2. Lord, release mystery to us to bring heaven down to earth in the name of Jesus Christ. We come into agreement with the heavens to declare your glory in Jesus' mighty name. The chief angels with their flaming swords are battling on our behalf ahead of time in the name of Jesus Christ. Our appointed times have been declared by God. God in the heavens in Jesus mighty name at sunrise the dawn will give birth to the will of God and light will shine upon the wickedness to shake it from the heavens in Jesus mighty name at twilight our enemies shall flee and newly founded spoils will await us for our destination in Jesus mighty name Lord our destiny is an inevitable in the name of Jesus Christ oh God let us and our prayers reach you this morning in the name of Jesus Jesus Christ. We command the morning its ears to open to us and hear our cry and our prayer today in the name of Jesus. Let conception take place that the Holy Spirit prayers will reign and be dispatched, Lord, right now upon the earth and do its will in Jesus' name. We command the earth to get into place to receive heavenly instructions on our behalf in the name of Jesus Christ. We command all elements of creation to heed and obey today in the name of Jesus. As our praise resounds and the day breaks and the earth shall yield her increase unto us, we declare the first light has come. We declare the first fruit of the morning is holy and the entire day is holy in the name of Jesus Christ. We prophesy the will of God to the morning so that the day spring day fall will take its place in the day. We declare that the first line will shake the wickedness on the four corners of the earth in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray right now that we are strategically lined up with the ladder that touches the third heaven and sits on the earth. The angels are descending and ascending according to the words that we speak. Whatever is bound and loosened on earth shall be bound and loosened in heaven. We thank you for revelation, healing, deliverance, salvations, peace, joy, relationships, finances, promotions, and resources that have been demonically blocked are being loosed upon us right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, that we thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord, as we command the morning and capture the day 
time is being redeemed in the name of Jesus Christ. The people of God have taken authority over the fourth watch of the day in the name of Jesus Christ. The spiritual airways and highways are being hijacked for Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ. The atmosphere of the airways over us, our family, our church, our workplace, our ministry, our neighborhood, our city, our nation, and the world is producing a new climate, and the new climate is constra- constructing a godly stronghold in times of trouble in the name of Jesus Christ. The thinking of people will be conducive but to the agenda of the kingdom of heaven in Jesus' mighty name. Every demonic agenda, every evil thought pattern designed against the agenda of the kingdom of heaven is destroyed at the root of conception in Jesus' mighty name. We come into agreement with the saints as we suffer violence and the violent take it by force according to Matthew 11 verse 12. No longer will we accept just anything and anything to dealt with in our days, but we only accept your perfect will. We declare that the kingdom of God has come and the will of God be done upon the earth as it is in heaven in Jesus' mighty name. As the sun rises, let it shine favorably upon the people of God. Daily destiny is our portion because we have, uh, our thought is for tomorrow is a better day. Lord, we are riding on the wings of the morning into a new day of victory. God, you have separated the day of the night and you will also separate us from every evil thing in Jesus' mighty name. The Lord has given us dominion over all elements of the earth in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare and decree a new day, a new season, and a fresh anointing. The ingredients of our destiny are programmed into our days and years and seasons in Jesus' name. We bind every evil force that would try to capture our destiny in Jesus' name. We plead the blood of Jesus over every principality, power and ruler of darkness, spiritual wickedness in high places assigned against the purpose of God in our life, our family, our church, our city, our nations in the name of Jesus Christ. We bind every destiny thief. We bind every destiny pirate. We bind everything that is coming against the will of God within our lives In the name of Jesus Christ, every curse sent against our day is bound and broken and rendered powerless and sent to the cross. We displace the Luciferian spirit and we bind every false light bearer in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray that our prayers will disrupt the dark plans and give our enemies no prosperous day. We have victory over our enemies every morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Our day will prosper. This is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Heavenly Father, we pray for a revival and a spiritual awakening to come to the earth. Heavenly Father, we come to you as humbly as we know how and we ask you in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus to send revival. It is written in 2 Chronicles 7.14 If my people that are called by my name would humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I would hear from heaven. I would forgive their sins and heal their land. Father, we are your children and we are called by your name and we humble ourselves before you now when we repent of all of our sins and we ask you in the name of Jesus, the name above all names, to forgive us of all of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. We humble ourselves before you seeking your face and we turn now from all of our wicked ways. Father, we ask you in the name of Jesus the name to forgive our sins and the sins of our nation. We ask you to heal our land. Father, our land desperately needs healing. And Father, we know that we are living in a very last of the last hours because all the signs are there according to Matthew 24 and Luke 21 and according to, um, according to Mark 13 also. The signs are here. Father, make us and our house rapture ready for you because we know that you're coming soon. We pray for revival before your imminent return. Father, fill us with your Holy Ghost. Make us a great witness and help us to speak your word with boldness. Revive us, Lord, and set us on fire. Hear us, Lord. We want to be used by you in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. We also pray for protection against all of the enemy or any retrieval attacks would come against us this day. In the name of Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father, 
We thank you that you would cover ourselves. You would cover our family or cover our possessions. And, and the one that is hearing this prayer right now by the blood of Jesus. And we ask you, Father, to cancel, destroy every plot, plan, scheme and strategy of the enemy and every assignment from hell coming against us, our house, our family, our loved ones, our possessions, our health, our finances and everything in the world that concerns us. And we ask you to turn every curse sent our way into a blessing. Father, bind the strong man, shut the lion's mouth and loosen your mighty warring angel armies in great ab uh, abundance to protect, to defend, to minister us and to deliver us and war on our behalf in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. We speak to every enemy that would come against us today because we are a soldier in the army of God. The Lord Jesus is our commander in chief and we cannot be discouraged. We cannot quit. We shall win and the Lord shall supply for all of our needs. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Demons cannot defeat us. Us. People cannot discourage us. Storms cannot weary us. Sickness cannot stop us. Persecution cannot silence us. And hell cannot handle us. Death cannot destroy us. But we will always triumph. We are a soldier marching all the way to heaven. And we have been taught by the Holy Spirit and tested by fire. Lord, we pray today in the name of Jesus. We take authority over the second heavens with the blood of Jesus. And we command mind you to subdue and destroy all things that are not of you in the name of Jesus Christ. Disobey, counterfeit, command. We do. We pray right now in the name of Jesus Christ that every satanic law concerning our life be destroyed today in the name of Jesus Christ. We undo every evil package against us and every evil package against our life. Lord, to be set on fire and roasted to the ashes in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray right now. We address the earth and the seas with authority. Lord, with a new earth and release and disobey all negative instructions against us that has been said where our name's been placed on any unholy altar in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray by thunder, by force, by fire, by force, Lord, that you would send fire to the enemy's camp to bring confusion right now in the name of Jesus Christ. You will send your Holy Ghost fire to come and pour out your spirit on top of their head, from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. Lord, that you will baptize them with fear and with fire today in the name of Jesus. Pour out your spirit upon them in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for what you're doing. We give you all the praise and we give you all the glory for what you're going to do and what you will continue to do in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We pray and believe. This is Pastor Robert Clancy in Perth, Western Australia. It is time to catch the, uh, the, the, the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom.